everyone, I'm Kayla Miller, the 2020 Stevenson County Farm, Farm Bureau intern. Today we're at Mel K Dairy Farm located in Orangeville, Illinois. Today you guys will be seeing three different types of dairy breeds. So this is a brown Swiss and you guys will later be seeing black and white Holsteins and red and white Holstein. So this is Farmer Craig. This also happens to be my dad. So why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself? I grew up on a dairy farm as a small boy and I bought my own farm in 2005 and moved to Orangeville, Illinois here now. I farm about a thousand acres, crops, mainly corn, soybeans, wheat, and hay, which is grown to provide feed for my cattle. I, I milk about 50 cows with about 100 head total. And I farm three different breeds. I have black and white Holsteins, red and white, and Brown Swiss. This is a Brown Swiss. It's a red and white Holstein. And over here we have a black and white. All right. So, what type of facility are we standing in right now? This is a tie stall facility. The cows are fed individually in a tie stall, and in a parlor they are all milked in a group. These are all milked individually and fed individually easier to work with. There are seven major dairy breeds. Red and White Holstein, Black and White Holstein, Jersey, Milking Shorthorn, Ayrshire, Brown Swiss, and Guernsey. Alright, so Farmer Craig is going to tell us a little bit about what the cows eat. So, take it away. They eat a lot, but they'll eat up to 100 pounds of feed a day and drink about 50 gallons of water. That's a lot. Some of the feed they eat, this is, this is uh, forage, corn silage. And then they eat that mostly, and then they, they probably eat about 10 pounds of this, which is just alfalfa hay. And then we top dress some concentrate on there that's got a little more protein in it for making more milk and, and just general health. What is this yellow stuff over here? The yellow stuff is it's chopped wheat straw that we put under the cows so they've got a nice comfortable place to lay down. Alright, so how much milk do they produce per day? On the average, probably between 8 to 10 gallons of milk per cow. And that is probably at a 4% butter fat and a, a 3-4 protein. With that, they separate it down in the store milk you buy in the store is only two percent so they make a lot of other products ice cream cheese yogurt all right so what's your favorite dairy product out of all of them cheese cheese do you have a favorite type of cheese all cheese is good i like cheddar cheese myself all right well my favorite is by far ice cream i don't have a favorite flavor of ice cream i love them all for the most part one gallon of milk equals 16 cups. So if a cow produces between 8 to 10 gallons of milk per day, that's about 128 cups that they produce per day. That's a lot of milk. There are many different types of products that can be made from milk. Some examples are whipped cream, regular milk, yogurt, cheese, ice cream, sour cream, and butter. So we're up here in the heifer shed, so why don't you tell us what these guys eat up here? Well, they eat a little different feed than the milk cows because the, their stomachs are not quite developed. They eat a little drier hay. You can see it's just a little different texture. Their grain is a little bit drier. They don't get any corn silage. Their, say their stomachs are not developed. Uh, say a, a cow has four compartments to their stomach. Unlike people, we have one compartment. They have four compartments and that helps them digest that 100 pounds of feed that they eat a day and uh, 50 gallons of water and turn it into milk. All right, so how old are these guys up here? These guys are about a year old and in a couple months, they will be ready to be bred to have a calf, hopefully within about nine months after that. All right, so these guys up here are called heifers, correct? And the ones in the barn are called cows. So what's the difference between the two of those? Well, you, you baby calves are under three months of old of age, and then your heifer is three months 
up until she has a baby. When she has a baby, she's considered a mature cow. All right, so this one looks a lot smaller. Let's tell us about this one. How old is she? This one's just a few hours old. She was just born this morning. She, she'll weigh about 100 pounds when they're born. That's a lot bigger than a human baby. So does she get the same type of milk that we get in the grocery store? Like what does she get fed? She gets her mother's colostrum, we call it. It's a, the first milk that the cow gives when she has a baby. It's got all a bunch of antibodies in it that the calf needs to get a good healthy start. So, She'll drink about two quarts of it when she is first born within the first hour. So she's obviously not with her mother. Why do you guys separate them from their mom? separate them from their mothers at birth. It's mostly a disease thing. We don't want to pick up any bad bugs from the environment. We move them to a nice clean calf place and they're, they'll stay in here for eight weeks and be on milk and then they'll go over there and eat hay and grain. All right, so what are these ones out here and why are they out on the pasture? These are animals that are got a baby in them and they'll be having a calf later this fall. We put them out on the pasture, they get plenty of exercise and it's just good for them. All right, well, thank you for your time and thank you for showing us around your dairy farm. You're welcome.